Uh, this block of sandstone uh, was found by pigs uh, when they were rooting out some nettles uh, in a field next to the farm at Glenhead in 1997. Um, sandstone is a very common material and unless it's got some unique identifying features in the lithology, um, it's very difficult to uh, say where it came from. Um, this one uh, we think uh, may have been carried some distance uh, but the main thing to notice is that you can see on it there's a, a negative impression of uh, a bronze axe. Uh, it's been cut into the top uh, to form a mould in which you can pour the molten metal. It dates to the early Bronze Age, uh, so approximately 2000 BC, uh, at a time when technology was uh, in a transitional stage. Uh, it's when they're moving over to a, a brand new alloy uh, known as bronze, uh, which is uh, formed from tin and copper, and very, very expensive originally. The axe head mould itself is about 22 centimetres in length, uh, and it would have been carried to Glenhead uh, by an itinerant uh, metal worker. Um, and the reason why it's the second of our ten and a half objects is because it represents this technological innovation, this radical change uh, from using just wooden and stone objects uh, to transforming a, a rock essentially into molten metal and then into a shaped object. And you can see why at the time this would have been seen almost like wizardry. The idea that you're making one material from a completely different source uh, material. Um, the people who were doing this, of course, were highly skilled. Um, you had to get uh, the rock up to a very high temperature. Um, you had to be very careful about the, the pouring and the manufacture. Um, and uh, it was only the, the wealthy headmen, uh, as we noticed with our first object, uh, that were able to afford these kinds of things. Uh, the problem being that uh, they would have been travelling around the countryside, melting down old broken uh, arrowheads and axe heads and making them into these new ones. And at some stage, our axe head mould became obsolete and basically it was just thrown away at the last place that it was used. Um, and that's why it's our second of our ten and a half objects.